Welcome to Shortcut Reviews, where we normally get to the point. But today I wanted to call out Zeldrick's uh, channel, and in particular his Apex Knife News. So what he's doing is he's going around uh, the internet, finding knife and knife-related content, providing it in one place. So he basically has all the links in his description. He does a quick read-through of what he's found that week. Um, he called out my channel this week, which I thank him very much. Um, I'm trying, you know, obviously as you're trying to build a channel, getting people to find you is uh, the hard part. So thanks again, Zeldrick, and I will link to him uh, in my description, as well as all the weights, all the measurements. So in this channel, Shortcut Reviews, what we try to do is we try to keep it short. Uh, short meaning about five minutes to review a knife. Uh, this one might be just a hair longer because I talked for 45 seconds about Zeldrick. So let's get to it. This is the, the, the Mantra One. It is a titanium flipping Delica. And so as a size comparison, there is the Delica, just a hair bigger. Here is the Native 5. Uh, another knife is the Sage 5. These two are going to have a baby, and they are going to have the Mantra 3, and I think it might be my Grail knife, so we're going to find out. Uh, it's going to have carbon fiber, backlock compression. It's going to have S30V steel, which is a great powdered metal steel. It probably wouldn't have been my choice, but um, that's going to be nice. It's going to have a wire clip, of course. It's going to be delicate shaped, so how, how can you go wrong, right? I mean, it feels like it's going to be a home run. Um, next to a dollar bill and a zebra pen. So let's get to it. Um, the first thing is, is this blade is M4. So this is a tool steel. Um, it will rust, so corrosion resistance is low. Um, edge retention is high. Um, so something like frog lube on it, or um, if you live in a dry climate, it's gonna be great. It's got a great shape to it. It's got a fair amount of flat, a little bit of belly, a nice point. Actually, a nicer point than the Delica. So the Delica, they bull nose it just a little bit. They just kind of, they kind of shave it off just a little to strengthen the tip. This they did not. Uh, this is a little longer because of it. Just a little over three inches, but as always, the measurements will be below. So that's the blade shape. The other thing that they do here is in the Delica, you can see where the plunge grind intersects the spider hole. And that generally leaves a sharp edge or two somewhere. Now, not so bad on the, the Japanese uh, knives, but certainly on the, uh, the Taichung knives, usually there's sharp edges here. This hole is actually a little sharp, but because the punch grind doesn't intersect that hole, there's a lot less points to it. So that's, that's really nice. No sharpening toil and no ability to sneak up. So you can kind of fake a finger toil on the Delica if you need to. It's not really meant to be a finger toil, but it works just fine. Um, this, that, that, there's no choice really, the flipper tab's in the way. The flipper tab acts like a really nice hand, uh, hand guard, so you're not worried about slipping up on the knife. I actually find that the, the flipper does not create a hot spot, which so often flipper tabs do. This runs on bearings. They're in um, a little plastic retaining washer, and then they ride on very, very thin steel inserts against the titanium, because the titanium would gall uh, too much. Now, the steel inserts are thin, and so some people have had a problem where they've over-tightened the pivot, and they've actually put divots in that steel liner. So um, you want it snug, uh, no blade play, and there is none. And um, you just want to be careful not to put divots in that. A push button flips great. It light switches flips not quite as well, a little, little slow. But um, great knife. And the Mantra 3 is going to have uh, the Spider Co. continuous quality improvement. So they've redone those bearings and that steel insert. They're going to have some carbon fiber. They're actually moving away from M4. They're going to use um, 30, uh, S30V. So if you really love M4, this is the time to pick this, this guy up. I actually think the, the Mantra 3 will probably be an improvement over this. It's going to have a compression lock, not the Reeve integral lock here, uh, the frame lock. Um, the frame lock does have steel insert here so it's jimped it's got a little cutout for your finger it's also got an over travel stop it's steel on steel which is nice so you don't have to worry about lock stick uh, which sometimes can happen on titanium even though spider -Co does a pretty good job of i think carbonizing it they call it uh, preventing that lock stick got a very nice little wire clip let's take a look at it in the pocket so this is um very deep carry the flipper tab is not, um, is not uh, it's nicely rounded. There's actually no jumping on it. It's not gonna tear your hand up if you go past it. 
um, and really compared to the Delica, you've only added just the tiniest little bit of, of pocket room. So again, not, not, it's just a great knife to carry. It's thin, titanium scales, yeah, they leave snail trails or whatever, get scratched up, but uh, it's a tool, dudes. Um, we don't do too much man jewelry on this channel. So the wire clip is nice, it's got a lanyard hole, it's got flow through pillar construction, which I think is an improvement over the Delica. A lot easier to clean out, locks up tight, no rock in any direction. You just can't go wrong, guys. So that's the review. Uh, I actually happen to love it. I love all things Delica. It seems like, uh, it just seems like the perfect blade shape with a nice, just enough handle. And I think the Mantra 3 is gonna be a freaking home run, like I said. Um, the thing that's really compelling about this knife is, is the M4 and, the tit and it's full titanium. There's gonna be no carbon fiber. So I actually think the Mantra 3 materials are not quite as nice in some ways, but I think that back lock is gonna be a big improvement. And I think the bearing pivot area is gonna be a big improvement. So thanks again, guys. Um, thanks for joining us at Shortcut Reviews and have a great day and stay sharp.